You are watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, dental implants. Who's a candidate? According to my first guest, he says, no more dentures. He is North County's implant dentist, Dr. Henninger. Dr. Henninger, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Now, thanks for coming to the show. We have... Uh, we didn't beg you, but we've been trying to get you on the show legitimately for about a year, year and a half. Is that right? It has been almost now, a year. What was yeah. your hesitation? I'll put you on the spot here. Uh, Randy, you're in the office so much. Just seeing I do come in there. Yeah. I do come in there. So, okay, good, good, good. Now, before we get into today's topic, for people that don't know you, mm -hmm. um, I mean, who's your typical patient? What are the procedures you do? I know you work with Dr. Hunegard, which mm -hmm. has been on the show. But uh, what all do you do? Because you do more than just dental implants. Uh, Randy, we see all types of patients. We're a family practice. Uh, we do cleanings, we treat people um, that have gum disease, uh, we have a laser in our office to do that. Um, okay. We do Invisalign, okay, we also are a uh, metal free office, we do Cirac crowns in a day. Do people come in now to actually have them taken out? I do. I mean, is that popular? It is very popular, especially here in North, North County. Okay. There's a lot of people with aging dentistry that have a lot of silver in their mouth and it just needs to be replaced. And it's, cosmetic, you do a lot of cosmetic? We do a lot of cosmetic dentistry. And, and of course, a big part of our practice is dental implants. There's a lot of people um, up here in North County that have, have dentures that don't fit well, okay? Or a lot of people that are faced with losing, you know, a tooth or a number of teeth. Okay, now we've talked off camera. We said, you know, I asked you in my green room, how many people do you think are wearing an upper lower denture in San Diego? Because I don't think of people having dentures all over the place, but you say it's common. It is like very common. Like how many, com what's an estimate? Com Probably 30,000 people. 30,000 people. Are wearing, or dentists are wearing dentures. Like upper or lower denture. Yep. And you say what to that? I say there's no reason why you should be walking around with loose, loose fitting dentures. We have dental implants, we have laser dentistry that is virtually painless. Uh, you know, there's no reason for it, Randy. So what's changed uh, over the last, you know, several years that makes it easier or quicker to do dental implants? What used to take, I guess, six or nine months now can happen in just a few visits. Randy, it's, it's quicker for a number of reasons. The dental implant technology has changed quite a bit over the last five years. The surface technologies and the design of the implants are... Having, what, the bone grabs onto it faster? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it's called osseointegration. What happens is the bone integrates with the dental implant, and that process happens quicker with the new surfaces technology that they're using on dental implants. Now, when I hear, now, in an ideal situation, that you can go in with a missing tooth and the same day get a tooth and walk out with a tooth, with a dental implant. Is that true? It's true. Okay. I mean, not everybody can. You know, it depends on, you know, what you present to our office with. But a lot of patients can walk into our office with a toothache or a tooth problem that can't be fixed and walk out with a dental implant and a tooth on top of that dental implant. That's what's really exciting about dental implants is there's a lot you can do with it these days. Now, in your office, I guess you do all stages of the process. And it's not always done that way. Right. Elaborate on that. Randy, we can do the process from start to finish in our office. And that's not the usual way it happens. Usually you have to go to a specialist or a surgeon to have the dental implant placed, you know, okay. a couple of visits with him. And even before that, you're going to go to an imaging center where you'll get your, your three-dimensional x-ray taken. Okay? And then you have to go to another dentist to get, to get the tooth on top of the implant. Okay? So three, three different places. Three different places. Oftentimes. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. And in our office, we have everything under one roof. We can do the dental surgery in your office, we can do the x-ray, and we can do the restoration in our office. And the reason why I think that's better is, th is the same guy who is going to make the tooth for you and make it look good for you is placing the implant. He knows where that implant is supposed to go, Randy, and I think that's a huge advantage over going to different offices. But do you hear that people say, I don't like... Absolutely. Even to you, because you seem yeah. like such a nice guy. Yeah. The first thing they want to know is, can you do the whole thing in, in your office? Oh, really? And they're saying, because I've heard I have to go to here, I have to go to a surgeon, I have to go to a restorative dentist, I have to go somewhere else to get my x-rays taken. That's, that's the number one complaint that I hear from people, is I just don't want to go all over town to get the, really? one job done. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so who is the typical client? And, and I know you guys are on TV, like Dr. Hunegard's right. on TV. Who comes in like who, who, for dental implants these days? Is there uh, a certain demographic or right. kind of people? You know, Randy, we have young patients and we have old patients. Um, older patients that may need all of their teeth out. And that, that's a big deal. But for some reason, they've come to this conclusion and they've started believing the stories that they need to have their teeth out. That's probably our typical patient. They've come to the realization that they have problems in their mouth. So they know their teeth have to go. Mm -hmm. So it's like dentures or get a fixed set of teeth. Exactly. Seems like an easy decision, right? Right. <laughs> Nobody wants dentures, Randy. Okay. Okay. And there's some people that already have dentures that have gotten to that point of frustration that were, there's got to be something better out here. And there is. That's when you hit, you know, when we say things like no more dentures, right? is that an overstatement or an exaggeration? I mean, is that the future of dentistry? 
No, that's... Because you, you think that's true. That's now, Randy. You can have... If you're missing all of your teeth, you can have your teeth back. Okay? We can get you, get you 95% of your function back. What does that mean, function? That means you're smiling, you're chewing. You know, if you're wearing a set of dentures, you're probably functioning at about 20% of what the average person has when they have their natural teeth. With a fixed set of teeth, we can get you 95%, 100% back to normal. Okay, so let's say there's you know, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 people in San Diego that have an upper or lower denture, right? Mm -hmm. If it's so good to get, you know, I guess a, even a couple of implants for snap in, snap out, right. why is everybody doing it? What's your take on that? I think fear is probably the number one reason or that they just don't know what's available. Okay. Okay, and that's part of the reason why we're on this show today is to let people know what's available and to let them know that it's not as painful as you probably think it is. Okay? We do a lot of our, our dental surgery and our placement with dental implants with a laser, okay, and our CT guided surgery. Okay, that makes it more precise, more accurate, and less pain for you. So, so let me get this right. I mean, I mean, the pain is really from the gums, like digging into right. the gums, yes. because the bone doesn't really have the pain. Right. The nerve endings. So that's why this thing doesn't hurt. This procedure, I'm saying. Exactly. The nerve endings live in the gum tissue. If you can be kind to the gum tissue, it's not going to hurt. Okay. And when we do this stuff with a laser instead of a scalpel, and we don't have to flap open your gums. It's less pain afterwards. Now, these denturers obviously don't go to the dentist anymore. Right. Right? So nobody's telling them to do it. Right. I mean, is that your take It also? is. Yeah. Usually these people have come to a point where something dramatic's happened. They've gotten a divorce. Somebody's died. Or I have this great story about my friend Mary. You know, she, she's had dentures for a long time. Okay? And she's, she recently had a grandchild. And her grandchild's gotten old enough to where she's noticing things. And uh, she's like, Grandma, your teeth are terrible. <laughs> and Mary's, wow. my, Mary's my friend. You know, I've known her like outside of the office for a long time. And she came to me. She's like, you know what pushed me over the edge? It was my granddaughter noticed that my teeth were terrible. And that, that's what made me want to come in. So it's like some sort of a trigger right. that gets people mm -hmm. to want to. I, I have several patients that have, you know, lost a family member or gotten a divorce. And they realize they got to get out again, out in public. And and be in front of people and attract people. And you know, they gotta do something about their teeth. That's the first thing that, that they realize. What are the oldest patients you have getting dental implants? Oh, uh, we, we have patients in their 90s and even 100. 90 years yeah, old? Exactly. Mm -hmm. 100? Right. R Why do they wanna do that though? Randy, eating is a very important thing for us. Not only is it where we get our nutrition from, but we get a large source of uh, entertainment and satisfaction from, from eating. And, People may know that they only have five years left. They want those five years to be the best five years that they've had in their life. My grandfather, he's this big Italian guy. He's been wearing partials and dentures ever since I was a kid, and okay. I knew it. This guy enjoys eating more than he enjoys breathing. <laughs> okay. Right. And I'm like, Grandpa, why don't we get your teeth fixed so that you can enjoy what you enjoy most better? He's like, oh, I'm too old. I want to go through the procedure. I'm like, we can help you. You know, and you know he's a family. So member. you were trying to talk him into dental implants. Absolutely. For how long? Did you finally do it? Long by the way? time. No, I still have not convinced you my convinced grandfather him. to how, do how it. How long is he? So he's got a loose-fitting denture, and what are his fears? I guess his fears are everybody's fears. I, what? I honestly think he thinks there's that there's nothing that can be done for him. And you know, it's it's my job before, you know, too long. I'm going to get that guy a set of teeth so he can enjoy eating yeah. again. Yeah. If yeah. you don't mind, you know, I sent my, my father went to your office and he, he has did. dental implants. He my father's 78 years old. Mm -hmm. This was a year ago. So 70, he was 77 years old, right? He says, my dentures are fine. They're great. And I'm thinking he, he's got to be like everybody else. He goes, no, they're fine. I literally forced him to watch one of my shows. Right. And he goes, well, well, yeah, I'll talk. I'll talk to them. Mm -hmm. So he goes there. He meets with you guys, yeah. Dr. Hunegard, and he's a trumpet player. That's right. right? And he had a loose fitting denture. So Turns out he gets two implants, mm -hmm. snaps in, snaps out. He calls me the next day and says, uh, there's one thing, he's kind of a sarcastic guy, but he says, there's one thing, he didn't do a good job. He didn't do a good job telling me that it di wasn't going to hurt, right? Right? He said it didn't hurt at all. It yeah. was nothing. And my dad didn't want, and he told me, he goes, I didn't want to tell you, but I, the night before, I hardly slept. I was mm -hmm. so afraid. And he said it was nothing. It was just in and out. And now, of course, it's like he said, I should have done it years ago. And it's very important that a lot of people wait a long time. They're miserable for a long time. Right. And I think that's, and I was thinking about this, and I think we've had mm -hmm. this discussion that, you know, my father's like a lot of people. Yes. You know, that here at 78, 
He's been in dentures literally since he was 38. Right. Okay, and that's young. Mm -hmm. You know, who knows what would have happened? How his life would have been different? Had he been, you know, had a fixed set of teeth years ago? Right. So that is common. So you hear those kind of things all the time. All the time. Yeah. You know, my friend Mary, uh, she's really good friends with my grandfather, and that's actually how I met her. She um, she had a, a catastrophic event where she broke something, you know, and she had to go, you know, fix it. You know, she couldn't walk around the way she was. And um, she's like, my, my mother had dentures since she was 30 years old, and I've made it, and I'm 80 years old, and I still don't have dentures, and I don't want them now. And she's like, what can you do for me? We, we did four implants for her, and we gave her a denture that snaps into place, and, and she, she's like, I was never missing my teeth. You know, this is as good as what I was dealing with before I had to have the rest of my teeth pulled. Okay. And, and to sit here and sit there and watch her struggle getting those teeth out of her mouth is, it just makes me smile so because much. Because they're so tight. They're so tight. Sometimes you have to loosen them to pull them out. <laughs> right. Interesting. She was in just yesterday for a cleaning and I sat there in the, in the hygienist chair and purposely did not help her get her teeth out because I, I mean, I, had enjoy, I enjoyed watching her struggle with getting those teeth out of her mouth. So no more dentures. Is this, so, so is this the happiest group of patients? Because I know you do all things in dentistry. We, we do. do a lot of dentistry. We do. But is it, are these the people that are most appreciative as they, far as like maybe giving you cards or a hug? Or? They are. They're the most appreciative because they experience the most dramatic change. Okay. They, they go from wearing these loose fitting dentures to, you know, an implant supported denture or a fixed set of teeth. And they often say, why did I wait so long? Randy, I mean, okay. you know, I, I get hugs and kisses and it's sometimes embarrassing in the office because you're trying to, you know, deal with a lot of pe people in the office and they want you to stop and hug them because they're <laughs> Is that so right? Yeah. Is that right? So, you know, we haven't talked about your background training. I mean, I mean, you were a hospital dentist. I mean, you've, right. and still on call, yep. right? In the middle of the night, mm -hmm. That's people scripts, in yeah. accidents, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you were a military dentist. Right. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about your background training briefly because I know you brought a lot of yeah. uh, models but your experience when it comes to dental implants. Right, so Randy, I did a residency in a hospital and that's very rare for a dentist to work in a hospital. Doctors work in hospitals, dentists usually don't, okay? okay. But I, I, I sought out this residency because I, I knew I would get training with dental implants and also dental sedation. You know, I do a lot of sedation in my practice. You do IV sedation. I do IV right? sedation. Not yeah. just oral, you no. do both. I do both. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and some people don't tolerate the oral sedation very well. They're so anxious that the pill does not work. And that's when we do IV sedation. Is that safe? It is very safe. Okay. The patient's breathing on their own the whole time that they're in my office. They come back to me for their follow-up visits and they're like, I never knew anything happened. I don't remember a thing. It was great. And the nice thing about IV is I can control it. Once you swallow that pill, I don't have a lot of control about how your body digests that medication. But through an IV, I have direct control. I can give you more. I can reverse it. So it's, it's actually a lot safer than oral sedation. Is that right? So, so their yeah. blood pressure is lower, possibly? It is, because their fears have been eliminated. Their blood pressure stays down They don't even down remember lower. the procedure? Don't even remember it. Is that true, really? It is. Honestly, they go, are you done? Yeah. Is that what they say when it's all? I often joke with my, my patients that have their wisdom teeth out. I, uh, we get done with the procedure, and they're starting to wake up again. And I say, John, we're getting ready to start. And they're, and they're like, OK. But they're already done. They've already had their four wisdom teeth <laughs> taken out, and they're done. And they're not even, they didn't even realize that we had started. So that, that's, that's truly amazing. But I did, I learned those skills in the, in, the, in the residency that I did in the hospital, okay? We had a lot of trauma patients in the hospital. So dental implants aren't only for old people, okay? I have a lot of young people who have some sort of traumatic accident that come from the emergency room down at Scripps, and we, we solve their problems with dental implants. So nobody, I mean, even though you do bridges and partials and traditional dentistry. We do. In a perfect world, I mean, you would never do that. You would always give them their teeth back with dental implants. I would. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Though. I would. Is that right? It's right. Okay. Randy, I believe so much in dental implants. Uh, you know, when I was in train, trained in dental school, it was crown, bridge, you know, partial. Okay. But I believe so much in dental implants. You know, throughout my career, you know, I can count the number of bridges that I've, I've done on two hands. Really? Okay. Because we're so successful with dental implants these days, there's no reason to do a bridge. There really isn't. Some people say, I don't have enough bone for a dental implant. We can do bone grafting. Yeah, what procedures. about that? Because people do say that. They Even do. to me, because I, I go out sometimes, pre because my father, mm -hmm. they say, well, I was told I don't have enough bone. Right. Or my medical doctor, my mother said this, my medical doctor said, I don't have enough bone. And in the past, that, that may have been true. You may not have had enough bone for dental implants. With the bone grafting procedures that we can do in our office today, we can regain some of that bone that you've, that, that you've lost 
in order to do a dental implant for you. Have you, in recent times, had a patient go into your office that said, I was told I didn't have enough bone? Yesterday, Randy, yesterday. Really? I, I, okay. had, I had a patient yesterday. She had a bridge, the bridge was failing. Uh, by the way, the, the average lifespan of a bridge is five years. Okay. okay. So if you count on the fact that I you're gonna that. have to do that bridge twice in 10 years, you have a dental implant. So it might be cheaper to do a dental implant. It definitely is. Okay, so the story about yesterday. Let's yeah, hear that. yesterday. So I, I had this patient had a failing bridge, and she's like, I, I need a new bridge. And I was like, why don't we do a dental implant? And she's like, I don't have enough bone. That's the reason I had to do this. I don't have enough bone. That's what she said to me. She said, I don't have enough bone. And what do you say to that? I said, who told you? I said, let's go get a three-dimensional x-ray. But I'll, who told her she didn't have enough bone? Her previous dentist, who did the bridge. Okay. Okay. So what we did. You a CT scan right there. CT scan right there. We took a CT scan. Is that painful? I'm kidding. I had one over at your office, right? It just scans you. <laughs> yeah. It's very fast. It's just like having any other x-ray done. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, we took the x-ray, and I showed her how we could regrow bone in that area and put a dental total implant in. We did IV sedation for her. She was a little bit nervous. We did IV sedation for her, did the bone graft. I was able to put the implant in and do the bone graft at the same time. And somebody's been telling this, this lady for 20 years she can't have a dental implant there. And we just did it yesterday. So if you had met her 20 years ago? It would have been less expensive than in the long run. L less expensive and, and a lot easier too. Interesting. Okay, so you brought some models. What are we I looking did. at here? So these are these are our typical patients. And, and for people just sitting here, we're talking about no more dentures, get a fixed set of teeth in just a few appointments. And of course, with us we have North County's implant dentist, Dr. Henninger, uh, new to our show, uh, even though I go to your office all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, not all the time, every six months, right, right. for cleanings and things right. like that. But uh, we're talking about dentures. So these are options for denture wearers. So the first option for denture wearers, uh, Randy, is a, is a denture with two implants. As simple as having two dental implants, you can have a lower denture. So like on the lower? On the lower. Okay, okay. Like I said, the upper denture, it works for some people. Okay, hold that up. So Okay, so you can use our existing denture if you want? Yes, absolutely. And what, you just make snaps in there? Yeah, we can reline it in, in less than 24 hours, okay, with two snaps. You're going to have a denture that's held in by snaps. Snaps in, snaps out. No more adhesive. No more adhesive. It's a huge improvement over a lower denture that flops around. Okay. okay? I, I love those dentures, those dentures on the lower that flop around so much because I know if we can do this for you, you're going to love it. You're going to be so happy. You're going to be one of those patients that's hugging me in the hallway. Okay. That can't stop right. hugging You me. know, my father, I asked my father, and I told that's you right. I don't want to tell my story on the show, but my father went to your office, mm -hmm. has two implants, and so I called him couple of days ago and I said I'm going to interview one of the doctors over at Hunegaard's office and uh, I said could if you had to go back like if they paid you you know and I actually said to my father I'm going right. if they paid you $20,000 to remove those implants and just go back to your denture would you do it he goes no way right. because there's no amount of money yeah and this is a guy that I had to beg like you have to beg your right. grandfather that I'm telling him you know you should try it at least get a consult right can't go back and you say this is what everybody says it's a life-changing event just two implants it's different I guess just chewing we take for granted because yes. we have teeth right with an upper denture Randy you can taste your food but you're not getting the full enjoyment that you could out of your food right because there's you, taste buds on your tongue obviously there are I think there are okay yeah. Okay, good. So the next level up then is, so the upper, you can put what, two or four? We can put four implants on the upper, Randy, and we can remove the palate from your denture. Okay? And that gives you the full sensation of being able to taste your food again. Again, you have the advantage that your denture is, it snaps in, it snaps out. It's not held in by suction. No adhesive. But you don't want to use their own denture, right? I mean, don't you want to make a new denture? Right. Cosmetic denture? Randy, we do very cosmetic dentures in our office. A lot of people can't even tell that they're dentures. That's how, that's how good our dentures are. I bet are. I could tell. No, nah, I bet you can. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel like I could spot a denture walking right. down the street. Right. But you have, I mean, you have a milling machine that makes things right there. It does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that a savings to the patient? Do you it, think? it is. You know, one of the advantages of us being able to do the whole process in our office is the cost savings to the patient. We're able to do, you know, these processes in our office more affordable for patients. Is it true that normally how it's done, you send it out to a lab, because they have this 100,000 plus machine. Right. But you, you do it right there. Yeah, we have, we have the machine in our office. Okay, good, so. all right. So for now, what about the next level up for the lower denture? So we've talked about two. We, we, also, we also put lower dentures on, um, on, on four implants. Okay. okay, and the reason that's good is because a denture on two implants is, is held in by a combination of suction and snap. It does snap in and do, does snap out, but it is somewhat reliant on suction as well. If we can do four implants, your denture is totally re reliant only on those snaps. Okay, so okay. it snaps in, snaps out, and you know it will not move. Do you have there. one of those I samples? Do. So this four, now you show this to patients? Let me take a look. I do, these are what I use for patients. Let me borrow that. Okay, so is this, uh, and this is accurate mm -hmm. of what it would be? Okay, so it just snaps on. 
Mm -hmm. Right here. You can hear the snap. Okay, so no more adhesive. No. Nope. Four implants. Now, Absolutely what about not. fixed? A fixed set of teeth. So when we, that's the next level up. And Randy, I tell people that's the Cadillac of dentures. And in okay. reality, it's not a denture. It's a fixed set of teeth. You're okay. getting all of your teeth that are fixed. Permanent? Permanent. Possibly? Okay. Absolutely. The, these dentures, uh, or fixed bridges as I like to call them, th this is the denture that does not come in and out. It's a fixed bridge that only I can take in and out. And you come to see me once a year, I take it off. Once a year to clean these? Once a year. And what do they do at home? And I clean it. Toothbrush? Toothbrush. Water pick? Water pick, just like a normal person would. Okay, we can get 90%, 90-95% of your function back with this fixed set of teeth. And what is that made out of, by the way? Is it porcelain? Is it acrylic? What? They're made out of porcelain, or also they can be made out of plastic. It depends on your bite. Okay, okay. we're going to design it to where it's best for you. Okay, some people have a really strong bite, Randy, and porcelain's not right for them because they'll break it. Okay, right. we go with the plastic denture teeth in, the, in those cases. Okay. okay, but people who have a, the average bite, you know, we can put porcelain in your mouth, porcelain teeth onto your fixed bridge, okay? And those are the most natural teeth that we can have. Like a beautiful looking set of teeth. It is. How important is this smile in your opinion? Because there's a lot of denture wearers you tell me that don't smile because they don't like their denture. Right. So how important is smile? The smile, in my opinion, You're a dentist. I'm a dentist. I'm, I'm guessing that you think it's super important. I do. But there's, there's been a lot of independent research done that has says, says that the first thing people notice about you is your teeth. Okay. You know, I read a lot of literature, like the psychology literature. You know, they, they do top ten things that people notice. Smiles always number one. Yeah. You've yeah. probably read the Cosmo article or the fit, the fitness. I don't and, read Cosmo and, and, anymore. I don't read it. Yeah, used to, didn't you? <laughs> but but you're right. It seems right. like teeth are always in the top three or top five, right? Of, right. Of, of of attractiveness. And your first impression with somebody. I would say your first impression is your most important impression. You know, it has to do with a lot with your smile and your teeth. So there's a lot of people yeah. in San Diego that aren't smiling because. A lot of happy people in San Diego that aren't smiling and people don't realize that you're happy. Because they don't like their teeth. Exactly. Okay, so They're no, self-conscious about so their teeth. So no more dentures. Get a fixed set of teeth like what, four or six implants, eight implants? Just depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. We usually use five or six implants. Again, and that's not the, the important part, Randy. The important part is you're getting your smile back. So do they ever come in and tell you eating stories? Absolutely, Like what Randy. they ate? Absolutely. The, the story that I hear most often is you know, the older gentleman that hasn't had a steak you know, in four years because of his teeth. He's able to eat, with a fixed set of teeth, he can have his steak. And the, the, the story that I always like to tell people, can you imagine biting off an apple with a set of dentures? It's not gonna work. Those dentures are gonna fall out and it's gonna be an embarrassing experience for you. You could bite off an apple, eat a carrot, all those sort of things. So if it's as good as you say it is, and if there's at least, let's say 10 thir or, or 30,000 plus people with an upper or lower denture, uh, they just need to know their options. There's Absolutely. probably not even enough dentists to service all these people. Here in San Diego. There's not, Randy. There's not. It's the patient doesn't know what's available to them. So going out and pursuing the information that's available and finding out what's right for you. And your consultations are free. They are. You know, we sent you somebody, by the way, that works here. Uh -huh. They were going to go to somewhere else. Right. They were going somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And it was a $250 consultation. Right. And I overheard the conversation. I said, consult. And I'm not kidding you. I didn't even know they charge for consultations anymore. Right. Right. And I made her go to you. Right. And... Uh, Randy, our I don't know if she saw you or one of the other people, but right. uh, our consults are free. And Randy, the reason—I so, mean, you might as well go in and get evaluated, right? Exactly. And the reason why they're free is because I think you should at least have the information to be able to make a decision on what's right for you. Okay. And I'd rather you hear it from me than read about it on the internet or something like that, because I can give you your options and the ones that are right for you. So the CT scan, is that free too? I mean, if somebody goes it in, comes along with the consultation. And you take dental insurance. We do. Is that right? We okay. Do. Okay, we're gonna take a, hold that thought. We're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, uh, more about options. You're watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. Now we're completely out of time. Is there anything we haven't talked about, Randy? We've we talked a lot about the older patient and what implants can do for a set a, a denture wear. What we haven't talked about is is the younger patient. You know, I've, I, there are dental implant solutions for younger patients too. I, I have a, a patient, Amy. Uh, she's she's actually my age. She has two kids just like I do, Randy. She's an attractive woman, and she's taking her kids all over, town, all over town to soccer games and plays and dance, but she has such severe dental problems that it, it, she can't do those things. Okay. So we've gotten her to the point where she's realized that there's better options out there for her, and we're going to do... But what if her gums are too bad? Randy, a lot of people's gums are bad because their teeth are bad. Okay, they have so much bacteria living on their teeth that has it affected their gums. 
Okay. What did you do for her? We had to take out the rest of her teeth. And we put in five dental implants and a fixed set of teeth. And honestly, she looks better than she did with her natural teeth. You know, I asked you on the telephone, and we are out of time, but I asked you on the telephone. You don't know that I'm going to bring this up, but I said, for, you know, you're going to be on my show. You're right. going to be on my program. Mm -hmm. Who, in a, in a dream world, the perfect world, who would come in from this? And you said, people that don't have access to dental care because of right. fear or because of money or because of whatever. Right. And that was like, I thought, that's the right answer. It it's kind of like doing it for the right reasons. Right. And, the, and those are the patients that I get the most enjoyment out of seeing because there's such a traumatic change in their life, Randy. You know, they're able to eat, they're able to smile, they're able to go out and get that job that they've been wanting, wanting to get for so long. You know, it, those are the stories that really just make me go and make me keep pursuing dentistry. And you see changes in their self-esteem? I do. I had, when they I, act differently when they come back? I, I had a 23-year-old patient, did the consult just last week, addicted to drugs for like four years. He's, he's gotten off of drugs. He, he's an amazing artist. He's gotten off, off of drugs. He can't get a jo job because of the way he looks because his teeth are so bad, you know, from the history of dr drug abuse. And, you know, we're going to be able to change that guy's life. You know, he's made this, the first step by getting off drugs. Drugs, you know, when we change his smile, there's no, his possibilities are endless. So you see the outcome. I do. It, w when you're on the consult, do you, and you kind of get excited? I do. About it? I do, Randy. That, that's the best part of my like job. Like when a denturer comes in and get, tells you their misery stories, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you get excited going, boy, this is going to be good. Right. Really? Yeah. And, and the assistant who's sitting next to me, who's seen this process over and over and again, she gets that smile on her face like, I know what we can do for you, you know? And, you know, half the time, I don't even have to be there. The assistant, you know, she sees such dramatic changes in our patient. She just gets so fired up about it. By the time I get into the room, you know, the excitement is just out of control. I want to thank you. Very good stuff. Really good. Thank you. Uh, it was a pleasure. And, uh, and I'd like you to invite you back to talk more about the highly anxious patient Absolutely. and what you're doing with IV sedation. Right. You're watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to see this interview again, or if you have a friend with a loose fitting denture, uh, you can go on our website at wellnesshour.com and you could put in Dr. Henninger or you could put Dental Implants uh, San Diego. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour. The leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.